Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Although I haven't been to New Orleans yet, I really enjoy its Creole cuisine. As you probably know, this cuisine is a fusion of many different cultures and this is why it makes it so unique, delicious, complicated, in a good way of course, and colorful. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my chicken ham sausage jambalaya. Mm. It is so delightful and can be as spicy as you like. That is for you to decide. Serve with crusty bread. This jambalaya is sure to please and it is also a nice variation on your kitchen menu. So my friends, let's get cooking! The first thing we'll do is to drain the juice from the can of tomatoes. Set the juice aside and crush the tomatoes. Using your hand, clean of course, is actually quite therapeutic. It's relaxing. Try it. <laughs> okay, so now in a large saucepan over medium heat, we'll add the oil. And when it's hot, we'll throw in the onions and the celery. We'll saute for about three minutes. To this, we'll add red peppers and cook as well for three minutes. Then we'll add garlic and saute for only one minute. Next, we'll add the chicken and cook until no longer pink. Here I add to add more oil to prevent from burning, so you might have to do the same. Keep an eye on it. All right, so after this, we'll stir in the ham and sausage. Now let's add the rest of the ingredients. Rice, the reserved tomato juice, chicken broth, crushed tomatoes, hot paprika, chili powder, cayenne pepper, Worcestershire sauce, thyme, basil, gumbo filet, hot sauce, raw sugar, and jalapeno peppers. We'll stir very well all our ingredients and bring the mixture to a boil. Then we'll cover, reduce heat to medium-low, and let it simmer until most of the liquid is absorbed and the rice is tender, about 15 to 18 minutes. Remove from the heat, stir it, and let it rest for 5 minutes before serving. And this is our chicken ham sausage jambalaya. This is a great dish loaded with flavor. It is a super easy meal to make and you can enjoy Creole cuisine right at your family table. There's no reason to buy the jambalaya boxes at the store anymore, which by the way, it's unhealthy for you. Too much sodium in it. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time my friends! Bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.